The United States Department of Energy just revealed the insane declines in the cost of a battery pack over the past 10 years. The figures are absolutely mind-blowing. But what is actually more mind-blowing is that these cost declines are about to actually increase rather than decrease, which is what most people would expect to happen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thank you for tuning in to the channel that makes videos about the technology of the future. Battery packs are the most expensive part of the car. By far, it's not even close. We all know that. When it comes to an EV, the reason many EVs are more expensive than gasoline-powered cars is because the battery costs a lot to make. But that has changed enormously over the past 10 years. And because of a new technology that was officially revealed in the middle of 2021, the prices will actually fall even faster. The Department of Energy estimates the cost of an electric vehicle's lithium-ion battery pack declined 89% between 2008 and 2022 using 2022 constant dollars. The 2022 estimate is $153 per kilowatt hour on a usable energy basis for production at scale of at least 100,000 units per year. That compares to a ridiculous and incredibly expensive $1,355 per kilowatt hour in 2008. What a difference. $153 versus $1,355. The decline in cost, the US Department of Energy says, is due to improvements in battery technologies and chemistries and an increase in manufacturing volume. This is just the tip of the iceberg though. These price cost declines will continue to accelerate. And people probably think, how is that even possible? We've gone from $1,355 to $158. How can it go down even further? But it can, and it most certainly will. As the world continues to invest money at an ever accelerating pace into electric battery technology, while well, the costs continue to decline, and now China has some competition. They've got automakers, they've got battery makers in South Korea and Europe and North America making more batteries and investing more money into new technology. A wave of new planned electric vehicle battery plants will increase North America's battery manufacturing capacity from only 55 gigawatt hours per year in 2021. 1,000 plus gigawatt hours per year by 2030. That's an increase of 20 times 2021's output. 20 times more. But that is only the factories that have been announced so far. Between now and the end of 2026, I'm sure there's gonna be several other factories announced and built. Most of the announced battery plant projects are scheduled to begin production between 2024 and 2030. And this production capacity will be capable of supporting around 13 million electric vehicles per year. That's nearly enough to electrify every single car being sold in the United States on an annual basis. Considering the car market is around 15 to 16 million, it's more than 80%. So how will we see these insane cost declines that are gonna continue happening? Well, here's the thing. What is the most expensive part of a lithium ion battery pack? It's the lithium. Lithium prices have gone ballistic over the past 12 months, and that's an understatement. The price of lithium has skyrocketed by a factor of around seven by around 60 times over the last few years. CATL though, and BYD, plus other battery manufacturers, have been researching sodium ion batteries for many years. Lithium ion batteries are great, but they need expensive materials, such as lithium, nickel, or cobalt. And yes, you can make lithium ion phosphate batteries, but by the way, lithium ion phosphate batteries need more lithium than nickel-based battery chemistry. So that is one of their downsides. Sodium ion batteries use less expensive raw materials. Sodium, or basically salt, is everywhere. And it is incredibly affordable and incredibly abundant. Sodium is extremely cheap. But these batteries, sodium ion batteries, have lagged behind lithium ion batteries because they are relatively low energy density. The amount of electrical energy that can be stored per unit of weight now CATL says its research has paid off with its new sodium ion battery with an energy density of 160 watts per kilo, which is on par with current lithium ion phosphate battery energy density. The company says it expects to boost that 
to 200 watts per kilo by the time large scale commercial production begins in 2023. Where are we? Well, suddenly we're in 2023. And CATL says that this year, it will actually have sodium ion batteries going into energy storage projects and electric cars. And to put that into perspective, the LFP battery cells that Tesla currently use in the standard range Model 3 produced in China have around 200 watts per kilo in energy density. Therefore, that would mean that based on what CATL has said this year, their sodium ion batteries, which cost around 30% less than the world's cheapest batteries right now, lithium ion phosphate, will have the same energy density by the end of this year. One of the great things about sodium ion batteries as well is that they have excellent low temperature performance. At minus 20 degrees Celsius, sodium ion batteries have a capacity retention rate of more than 90%. That is significantly better than any lithium battery technology currently commercialized in electric cars. The other big advantages of these packs from CHL and potentially from BYD as well is that they have system integration efficiency of 80%. That's a weight or volume of cells versus weight or volume of the battery pack. According to Chinese media sources, we can expect the first generation cells to cost $77 per kilowatt hour. With volume production, that figure could drop to below $40 per kilowatt hour, meaning battery cells would be approximately one quarter of the price that the US Department of Energy is saying they fell to in 2022 one quarter. The sodium ion battery cells can be manufactured using current cell production equipment. That will keep costs down. This means that basically these companies, these massive companies making billions of dollars of batteries can simply make these batteries on the same existing production lines they already have. But it doesn't stop there. There is even better news. CATL said it has developed new battery management systems that will integrate lithium and sodium batteries in the same battery packs. That means manufacturers can create hybrid battery packs tailored to meet the needs of drivers in various climates, or depends on the size, it could be for different size cars, different models of cars, etc. Here's an example. You might use more sodium cells in a car built for Northern North America, so the Northern parts of North America or Canada, than you would otherwise use in, say, Mexico or the southern parts of the United States. The other thing you could do, more sodium cells in a battery pack can mean that cars can utilize more electricity from regenerative braking on colder days. CATL says, in terms of battery system innovation, we have made another breakthrough in battery system integration and developed an AB battery system solution, which is to mix and match sodium ion batteries and lithium ion batteries in a certain proportion and integrate them into one battery system and control the different battery systems through the BMS precision algorithm. The AB battery system solution can compensate for the current energy density shortage of the sodium ion battery and also expand its advantages of high power and performance in cold and low temperatures. Thanks to this innovative structure system, application scenarios for the lithium sodium battery system are therefore expanded. Today, advances in battery technology are happening at an insane pace. This is all down to money, and the more money we spend, the more money the world invests and time that invests into battery technology, the faster the innovation speeds up. Right now, electric cars are on parity in terms of initial purchase price with gasoline powered vehicles in China. It's only a matter of time before EVs are cheaper than gasoline powered cars all over the world, and it's all thanks to technologies like this. My friends, the future of the electric car is amazing. The future of the automotive industry is incredible. Don't listen to what BMW tell you. EVs will become cheap. It doesn't matter what companies have to say. It doesn't matter what the naysayers say. The future is inevitable. Thank you for watching.